Hey guys, this is Krypton Gaming here, and today we are actually playing Dying Light. I know I haven't done a video on this, but I've actually done quite a few streams on this. But once again, I know I haven't done a video with my voice in it in a while, and that's because that the audio of my mic will cut out sometimes. Sorry about that. Um, so hopefully, we won't do it in this video. I'm gonna try to do it really quick. But basically, in this, there's a tutorial. This is I'm not the type of guy to glitch. This technically isn't a glitch. I think that they, that the creators of Dying Light actually put this in the game to like give us a hint of what's going to be in the next DLC. Because if you guys haven't been over here, it is exactly right here on the map, right there by the feeding ground, right here at the edge. You have to go through that tunnel over there and this huge, massive bridge. And there's actually, a, you get a trophy on PS4 if you jump off right there and land in the water at night. So, I think that they put this in just to let us know that there's going to be like a later DLC to get over there. But that's just my opinion. So, I will unpause the video whenever I make it up there to show you guys how to get over there. See you guys. Okay guys, we are back. And you can see that we were down there at that safe zone. And now we're up here at the top of the bridge. So basically, whenever you come out that tunnel right over there. Um, oh yeah, the grapple is very useful in here. You can see that I'm actually using the grapple. Um, you get that skill tree in the survivor and it's the expert right there so basically whenever you get up on top of this bridge you can see that there's a bunch of wrecked cars and just a bunch of havoc just came all through here and you can see that there there's usually a bunch of zombies this is like the best place to come at night with molotovs so basically you get on this side of it or either side it don't even really matter but like I said the grapple is very useful and you get up here and you crouch it's so easy to go up here if you crouch and if you just look right at the middle it's kind of you gotta kind of focus if you have ever played battlefield and uh, I forgot what map it is um, where you climb to the top of the tower I forget the name of it it's basically just like that and you go all the way up to the top it looks like they're floating because there's actually scaffolding up there but you don't see it until you get up there so basically you just gotta like stare right at the middle and like I'm holding I almost fell off right there that was almost bad but I'm basically holding it in like all the way up. I'm going as fast as possible right now. If you just look right, like l directly right in the center where I am, you can see this little shade difference. You basically just got to look right there and just hold it like, oh gosh, you got to pray that you don't fall. I'm holding out the grapple right now because I don't want to fall because it'll be pretty bad. <laughs> there goes Eric, he just fell. So yeah guys, you can actually see I'm in a, a game with Eric White. Jack Daniels and Shane Merritt. Shane Merritt's actually the guy from the trolling video. Sorry I had to call you out on that. But I'll tell you about him later on. I'm actually going to give him a shout out later on in the video. So basically whenever you get up here to the top of the scaffolding. If you have this. Uh, okay no I don't. I have to go up closer. If you have the grapple. You can basically be a cocky ballsy dude. And uh, I'm going to try it. And grapple all the way up to. Good lord. <laughs> I'll pause it whenever I'll unpause it whenever I get back up here. I'll see you guys next time. Just a really quick pro tip for you guys: do not be cocky and ballsy. See, we're all retrying it because we're all trying to be cocky and ballsy. So if you have to grapple and you're good with it, you're set. But if you're a noob like me, don't try to be a pro. Just don't. <laughs> I'll unpause it whenever I get up there. <laughs> Okay guys, you can see we're back up on top of the bridge. Hopefully this time we won't die again because I am a noob at dying light. I know what I'm doing, but I suck at it. So that's one trait you don't need to have is sucking at the game. So don't be afraid to die. Can you go all the way up like that? No, no there's no way. But yeah guys, if you have the agility skill... Oh, the agility skill... Hold on guys, I'm trying to focus. But yeah guys, if you guys have gone in the agility skill tree and you have the tic-tac skill, that's where you can like free run up a flat wall. So you can free run up all the way up that. That's very useful to get up here. So basically, whenever you do this and you get to the top, I'll show you what to do from you get to there. But on the other side of this, there is like... A ton of like tents and stuff this is I guess you could call it a quote-unquote loot hole that's what Merritt told me about it and he's the one that showed me this um, so there's just so much loot if you guys are in need for a gauze you are set I've already looted all this I don't know if it'll be respawned oh there goes somebody that was Eric 
But um, I think Merit said that it'll respawn every single night. Like every night you sleep and then you come back, it'll respawn. I'm not sure if that's true, but he told me that. Okay, I'm not going to try to be cocky right here. Let me see if I can just make it all the way up. Okay, guys, you can see that I'm up here now. Uh, so you basically just go, th go through the scaffolding. If I can even do that. Uh, crap. Okay, let's see what I can do. So you basically just go through the scaffolding, figure out your way up to the very tip top. Or actually, if you go to the very tip top, there's actually a um, there's actually a flag and a blueprint up there. There's a blueprint on this side at the very tip top, and there's a uh, wait, there's a blueprint. I think I got that mixed up. And there's a flag over there. So basically, you get right here on the scaffolding. And you get right here all easy, and basically it's just a free path. You don't see anything down here yet, so you can see a tent. Oh my gosh. You can see a tent spawned in right there. So you basically come all the way down here. And there's ba there's a bunch more zombies. And whenever we completely clear out this place, I will unpause the video again. That was pretty badass. But yeah, whenever we clear out all the zombies, I'll show you guys all that's here. I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. <clears throat> Okay, guys, you can see that we are back. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. But you can see that we are back, and you can see that um, this is actually the, the zip line that we took down. And we basically cleared out all of the zombies, I think. I hope, because I don't want to have to wreck any zombies while we're over here. But that's the other side. That's all the zombies you'll have to watch out for. So, basically, there's just like a bunch of cars you can look through them. There's police vans. That's a very hard one. <clears throat> I think all these police vans are very hard. Like, there goes another one right there. I think you can unlock that one, too. Yeah, that one. And that van. <clears throat> so, I think this is, like, where, like, they cut off the bridge, basically. Well, obviously, they cut off the bridge because you have to go through hell and back to get over here. But, see, you can see that there's, like, a bunch of loot bags and stuff you can go through. And once you get in here, this is when it starts getting crazy. Look. Medical supplies, gauze, everywhere. Basically, if you're short on, like, medical supplies, come in here. Because look at how many there are. Gauze, heaven. Look, I think each one of those are two. See, look, now, oh, it's three. See, look, I have 71 medic packs. Now I have 74. Yeah, so it's actually three. That's actually confirmed now. So, look, there's just a bunch of gauze. If you have a bunch of alcohol, come in here so you can make a bunch of medic kits if you need them. Obviously, I don't need them. So I'm not, I'm not grabbing them right now. I think that's it for the tents. Well, no. It keeps going. And you can see that there's like another loot box there. Another place there. I think that's an easy one actually. And there's just more, like a bunch of stuff in here. Like I literally just found out this too. And I think there's always going to be a power cable there. So you absolutely know where to look now. And look, there's more. There's more and more. I don't know why I said that so many times. But yeah, there's another van right here in the very back and what I did I don't know if I can if you can actually get over here to that side I was using grenades to clear out all the zombies I don't think you can actually get over there that side but if you guys know how be sure to leave that in the comments because I got all the way up there to this side basically the same way I got up on that one and I actually before I actually started the video I accidentally grappled and I fell so because if you guys have played PS4 before you'll know how touchy the controls are whenever you set the controller down or something like that like the two triggers that's merit right there um so if you guys know a way to get over there basically just, just get up there the same way don't matter which one but there's no scaffolding up there you can see the zip lines but there's no scaffolding up there to get over here so it'll be kind of hard unless you can just go back down the wire the same way you get up but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed watching this because I really enjoyed making videos like this I have never done I think this is my very first tutorial video I think I have another one that I want to do on this game because there's another thing that you guys probably will not know about it it's an epic sword that does a thousand damage it's not a glitch in any way you just go to a certain part of the map and get it it's really easy it's the simplest thing in the world and it sells for a lot too so I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did making it please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one but wait i almost outro it officially merit shane merit you'll see up there in the top left hand corner of the screen right there uh right there i'm trying to get it where you can see it right there's his name shane merit his um 
that's obviously the dude from the Hero Brian Troll. I have to keep bringing it up because it pisses him off. <laughs> But be sure to go subscribe to him. Props to him because he showed it to me. Somebody showed it to him, but I'm not going to shout him out because Merritt showed it to me. But shout out to the person who found this to begin with. And anyways, thank you so much. And I hope this helped you guys. But be sure to subscribe to him. I'm going to say this so many times. His, his, um, his YouTube is typical underscore. No, it's not typical underscore YouTuber. That's his Twitch. Go follow him on there. But his YouTube is actually typical YouTuber. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. So be sure to go check him out, like all his videos, share everything. Just as just as much support as you guys show me, show it to him also. So I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I did making it. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this one. And I will see you guys next time.